Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that's been making headlines recently, the breach of the Bridgewater Canal. If you're not familiar with this, it's a massive event that's been shaking up the local community in Lim and the surrounding areas. Let's break it all down and explore what caused the breach, the impact it's having, and what it means for the future of this historic canal. So let's start with what actually happened. On January 2nd, 2025, the Bridgewater Canal suffered a significant breach near Lim, located in Cheshire. This isn't just a small crack in the system. It's a full-on collapse that's left many wondering how this could happen. The breach was triggered by a combination of factors, including severe rainfall that has been hammering the region over the past few weeks. Experts are saying that this level of rainfall is unprecedented for the area, leading to an overload of water in the canal system. The canal itself, which stretches over 60 miles and was originally constructed in the 18th century, wasn't built to handle such extreme weather events. As the water level surged, it ultimately caused the embankment to give way, creating a huge gap in the canal wall. So now we're gonna look at the impact of the breach now you might be wondering, what does this mean for the local community and the canal? Well, the breach is causing major disruptions. The flow of water from the canal has started to flood surrounding areas, including nearby roads, fields, and even sewage treatment works, which were overwhelmed. In fact, some of the local sewage systems are now at risk of contamination, making it a public health concern for those living nearby. One of the most immediate effects has been on local businesses and infrastructure. The canal plays a vital role in transporting goods and serving as a major leisure route for boating enthusiasts. So with this section of the canal out of action, it's creating significant delays for both commercial and recreational users. But that's not all. The environmental impact of this breach is also worrying. The canal's ecosystem, which has been home to a variety of wildlife for decades, is now in jeopardy. The loss of water and the potential contamination from the sewage could lead to devastating effects on local wildlife, including fish, birds and plant life. Additionally, the breach has affected the local infrastructure, like railways. Some train lines in the area were flooded as well, causing further delays and disruptions. The widespread flooding has been unlike anything seen in the region for years. So now let's see why it actually happened. So why did this happen in the first place? Well, as per the details shared by a landslide expert and University of Hull Vice-Chancellor Dave Petley, there are observations about some likely causes of the embankment collapse. As per his findings in general, possible explanations include a slope failure of the embankment, seepage through the structure, leading to piping failure or overtopping, perhaps because the structures controlling the water level were not effective. It is going to be important to understand what happened at this site as it could have implications for other sections of the canal. He also observed that the sides of the canal around the breach also failed. These smaller landslides are mainly rotational failures of the inner faces of the embankment, driven by rapid drawdown of the water level. They can also be seen in the drone footage. These failures will make the remediation of the main embankment failure more challenging. The breach highlights the vulnerability of many older infrastructure systems in the face of modern climate challenges. So now the question is, what's being done to handle the situation? Thankfully, the authorities have been quick to respond. Canal and River Trust, along with local authorities, are already on the ground, assessing the damage and starting work on repairs. Engineers are focused on reinforcing the canal walls and ensuring that the breach is sealed safely. They're also working closely with environmental agencies to monitor any potential contamination and take corrective measures. However, this isn't going to be a quick fix. Experts are estimating that it could take weeks or even months to fully repair the breach and get the canal back to normal. In the meantime, it's essential for everyone in the affected areas to stay alert, follow any safety guidelines and keep track of the updates from local authorities. So. What's the future of the Bridgewater Canal after this breach? Well, this incident is likely to prompt a major review of the canal's infrastructure. Expect to see more sustainable, resilient solutions in the future, ensuring that this kind of event doesn't become a regular occurrence. 
The breach of the Bridgewater Canal is a wake-up call about the fragility of our infrastructure in the face of climate change. It's a stark reminder that even the most well-known and historic systems aren't immune to the changing weather patterns we're seeing around the world. If you're in the affected areas, stay safe, stay informed, and stay tuned to local updates. But before you go, make sure to hit subscribe and hit like button. Moreover, if you're a fan of canals or just interested in the ways the world structures are being changed, here's a video you must watch. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.